Hey everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you um, my hair care products that I have hoarded for the past, um, I want to say three years maybe? Yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, I'm about to show you guys a clip of everything that I have um, and also this massive bag that I have. I've collected on this all throughout college and I started college about three and a half years ago. so. It's time to go through it and time to declutter. Most of this stuff actually is stuff that I repeatedly got over and over, but there's some empty bottles and there's some half empty bottles and there's some full bottles that I've never touched before. And it's honestly driving me crazy to look at all this stuff. Since I don't have my own place yet, I am hoping that when I do get my own place, I can have like a storage just set up strictly for the hair care products, which, you know, that's like a big thing for natural hair try and prepare for that and you know kind of declutter I'm like I said I kind of hoarded this stuff mom I know you're watching this please don't say anything because you know you know how I am so let's just get started um, I do kind of want to show you guys what exactly I have and what I use honestly I've never had like a natural hair care product that I don't really like actually that's a lie this past week I noticed how much I don't like one of the eco styler gels but that's a different story but anyways let's get started and see what i have stored for the past four years no judgment here guys none none at all okay guys so like i was saying before this is the bag that i have had for the past four years um it's a very sturdy bag and it is super heavy i'm gonna try to lift it up with one hand yeah i can't even lift it up like that's how bad it is um obviously you can see i have some blow drying tools and diffusers and stuff like that. It's mainly hair products um, such as like the curling creams and some shampoos and conditioners and stuff like that. So I'm really excited to see what I find in here because there might be something that I've been looking for for a while. So let's just see. Okay, so I have these plastic caps that I bought from H-E-B. Um, this is an essential. I always have to reuse caps, especially when I do deep conditioning and I like ruin them. Um, yeah, it's always good to have these on hand. I think those are only a dollar and there's like 15 in here, so definitely keeping these. This is a new blow dryer that I got from my mom and wow, it already like kind of <laughs> melted off. I um, can't remember what exactly it was, but anyways. Um, this blow dryer has like the cool, like, it has two sets of combs in its teeth, if that makes any sense. Not as powerful as my, like, favorite one, which you've probably seen in my blow drying routine and stuff like that, but it still does the job. I also do have a diffuser, but it doesn't fit on any of my blow dryers, so I need to um, give this away to somebody. Because, yeah, I've always liked the idea of diffuser diffusers, but honestly, I've never got the chance to use it and I can't use this one. So this is the one thing about natural hair care products is that a lot of times they'll leak and they get all over. So I can only imagine what has leaked in this bag and this is really gross guys. But yeah, I have some oil that was in this bag. Um, this is like little containers. This is actually really good like for traveling or you know if you're going somewhere and you need to put some oil or conditioner. These are good for that. So I'm going to use these, but I'm probably going to get rid of this um, really gross and sticky bag that is wrong. Yeah, that, that just felt wrong. All sorts of wrong. Okay, here is the blow dryer that you saw, saw in my blow dryer routine. And you can obviously see the tape. It's because one of the screws came out. But this is like all reliable for me. I don't know if you guys watch much Spongebob, but um, that's what it reminds me of. He had that, uh, what is it called? jelly fishing net and it was his old reliable and this is mine this one does the job for me and honestly it gets very very hot to the point where i think it's about to literally burn or catch on fire but um i still use it yeah i don't even know what brand this is i've had this for a while but this one is powerful and i don't think i could ever get rid of this and here's the comb that goes to it with some hair in it My hair sheds a lot. Um, if you recently watched my, uh, if you recently watched my straightening routine, you would have seen 
my plugged in um, straightener and more details can be found on that video if you guys don't mind watching. Um, let's see. Okay, so I have a pretty much empty bottle of Suave Naturals conditioner. Um, this conditioner, one, is really cheap and two, it's so good for co-washing. Um, and they last a long time because look at how big this bottle is. I actually think I have bigger bottles than this, but this lasts me for a long time. It's very good for um, co-washing and I don't believe it has sulfates or anything. I could be wrong. Um, correct me if I am wrong, but yeah, this one will be liable as well. If I don't have another conditioner, I always turn to this one. So let's see if we can find another one. No, okay. I did find my Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula, sorry, Coconut Oil um, Shampoo. This shampoo is, I, this is the only one that I use pretty much. Um, no sulfates, no parabens, and I think it smells good. It's, it smells like, almost like shea butter, which is weird. Um, this is like quarter, there's like a quarter left in here, so maybe I can find another one that I can combine the two. Just a disclaimer, my hair does not, like I was saying earlier, I haven't found a product that I don't like. And honestly, my hair just takes whatever I give it. My hair is just, it just loves, it loves everything that I've bought. And I'm just thankful that I haven't had to like waste money and stuff. So um, yeah, just a disclaimer, everything works really well for my hair in this bag um, for the most part, or there might be some things that I haven't tried. So be, we'll see. But, um, this is totally random. I have sunscreen in here that has not been opened. Could definitely use this this summer. Okay, I found a bag of some of these, uh, what's it called? These little scrunchies, sorry. I need to wash these, that's what I need to do. These little scrunchies, um, yeah, these are the ones that I use for my twist outs to stretch the root. These come in handy, but they can get very dingy and dirty and stuff like that. Um, found another pack of ponytail holders except they have the metal things so I'm probably gonna get rid of these because those metal things no point on them. I found a headscarf which actually kind of matches what I'm wearing right now. I could totally put this on but I'm not. Some hair scissors which always comes in handy for um, trimming or I think I used to use this for when I used to wear weave um, taking out my tracks. These are good scissors. Found some bobby pins with some stuff on it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw them away. More bobby pins. I actually do collect bobby pins um, because they come in handy. However, these are the ones that like the black stuff, like the paint comes off of them very easily. So I might as well get rid of these. You guys, this is a milestone for me. Like I keep a lot of stuff. I figured I would do this video because I like watching people do their cleaning out routines or like watch me clean my house and it sounds really weird when you say it out loud but it's honestly like satisfying to watch and it motivates me so hopefully this motivates you guys. I found um, a headband that oh my gosh I just like pulled it and it stretched like I don't know how to explain it. Look at what it's doing. That's weird. Yeah it's time to let that go. I'm not even gonna guess what this is. Yeah, I'm not going to. Some more of the scrunchies. I'm actually going to keep these and wash them because these, I get lose these very easily. They're like bobby pins for me. So, next it would be this. See, this is an empty. This is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen, Grow, and Restore Treatment Mask. I love using mask, but obviously I use pretty much all of it except for that much. Um, don't think I can really do anything with that, so I'm gonna go ahead and toss it but this is one of my favorites to do for um, just as a treatment after, you know, either straightening it or blow drying it. have a bottle of diluted apple cider vinegar, but um, just a part of me just is just telling me, throw it away. So I'm doing that. Found some giant bobby pins and these are pretty, pretty good shapes. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep these. I kind of like this new bobby pin phase that everyone's going through with like putting a whole bunch on the side. If it's done, correctly. I found some shea butter. This was my favorite. And actually, this is a pretty good amount to use for my skin or for my face. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this. This is just African shea butter from OK, the OK brand. It's just pure. Really, really uh, 
good for skin and hair. Found another baggie full of scrunchies. I should have found this a long time ago because I bought a whole bunch of these for no reason. Wow. So yeah, I have some brand new headbands, some more scrunchies without the metal things on them, which is always good. And yeah, more of those little things. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep these. I'm really glad I found that. This bag feels really gross because something fell in it. But here is a brand new bottle of something that I haven't used. Ew, it's sticky. It's so sticky. Oh my gosh, look at this. That's gross. That is really gross. Um, this is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Dandruff Control Conditioner with tea tree oil and willow bark extract. So this is for dry, itchy scalp. Sometimes I do find that I have um, dandruff, especially in the winter time, or I don't know, sometimes my scalp just does it throughout the year, but uh, I don't think I've used this yet. I have not because it still has the tag on it even though you can barely see it. Um, so yeah, definitely going to use this, whatever's needed. I just love Shea Moisture products. Um, yeah, despite all the controversy that went on last year, still gonna, still gonna use them. Here is a almost empty Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. This is like my staple. This is what I first started using when I started to learn how to take care of my hair. So, yeah, there's really not much in here, but I do think that I have another bottle of the same thing, so I'm gonna go ahead and combine those two once I get to that. Eden Body Works. This is another favorite of mine. Ah, oh, that was weird. I hate showing this because it has my hair in it, so it looks gross, but I know everyone can relate. It has this much in it. Um, I do think I have another bottle. So, same thing with that. Um, this one pretty much works the same for me as the Shea Moisture one. I just really like the smell of this one better. Honestly, they both smell really good, but I just like this one a little better. Um, it has coconut oil and Shea Moisture in it. I mean, Shea Butter in it, so. And they, they do the same thing. I use them both for my twist outs, and they leave my twist outs very defined. This is interesting. Um, <laughs> I think I can um, explain this one, or my mom can explain this better, why this is in the Star Wars tub. But this is whipped shea butter that I have not opened. Oh my gosh. It's still good. Trust me, it's still good. But yeah, she made some whipped shea butter and gave it to me in this. And I am really sad that I haven't used it yet. Like, this stuff is so good for your skin and hair. So, I'm definitely not throwing that out. This is one product I might say that I don't like. Um, this is leave-in conditioner from Afoji. Um, it's a spray-on, so like it makes it seem like there's nothing on my hair, which might be a good thing, but at the same time, I feel like it doesn't do anything. It just smells good. So this is like a good backup, but I, I, I wouldn't recommend it. I'll just say that. Here's a almost empty bottle of weightless moisture conditioner from uh, Giovanni. I have a ton of these, like I already saw that I have a lot of these, so I'm gonna, definitely going to be combining them, but you guys have seen this in all my videos pretty much, like this is my favorite leave-in conditioner and it just works so well for me. Ooh, another sticky bag. This is going to be fun. Oh, okay, this is why. This one always leaks. I can go ahead and get rid of this. Um, it's the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Grow and Restore Shampoo with shea butter and apple cider vinegar. Um, this is for natural or chemically processed or color treated hair. Um, there's like this much left, which you can't really do that much with, and it's leaking everywhere, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw this out. But that is a good shampoo. Oh, there's something else at the bottom of this, and I'm really scared. Oh gosh. Oh. I actually had it in a separate baggie. This is the, this is peppermint oil, which I love. That stuff, I put peppermint oil on my hair sometimes, on my scalp, after I do a twist out, or like, after I twist up my hair, and I leave it in overnight, and my hair, my scalp just feels really clean, and it also smells really good. Oh my gosh, I love this. Um, this is Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Style Milk. Um, this is kind of like another curling cream, but it's... I think it's just in a different bottle, maybe with a little different ingredients, but um, I still have quite a bit of this, so I'm going to keep it. Yeah, it works the same for me as curling cream for my Swiss Alps, so keep that. Cream of Nature Mango and Shea Butter Ultra, Mo Mo bleh, Ultra Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner. I think this is... Oh! 
this is my favorite one because y'all know how big I am on smells. And this smells like exactly like mangoes and it leaves your hair smelling like that for weeks. And I love this stuff. And like I said, my hair loves everything, so I'll use this if I really want my hair to smell good. Like recently I've been working um, outside a lot, outside a lot around barbecue, and so my hair has been smelling like barbecue for like a really long time, no matter how many times I wash it, so I might need to use that. Um, this one I remember buying. Shea Moisture, Coconut and Hibiscus, Frizz Free Curl Mousse. Um, I mean, I use it sometimes for my twist outs, obviously not all the time because I have a whole bunch and it's like it's brand new. Um, it does have coconut oil, silk protein, and neem oil. But, um, I don't know. I, mousse is like, I've never liked the texture of mousse. Like, I've never liked it, but this is good. I do think it does keep your hair stain in place. I'm just not like swoon over it. I'd rather use um, gel for that. So this is one that I've never seen. Oh yes I have. Um, this is from Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's has really good products if you didn't know. Um, this is their tea tree tingle conditioner. I, I haven't used this. This is unopened. This is just another good backup. I, I really do need to try this one though because Trader Joe's always has good products. Ah oh wait that's different. Okay so you guys know how I showed you the Eden Body Works all natural curl defining cream. This is the natural pudding souffle. I have not used this. This is completely full. Um, it's a slightly different color too. It looks like, it actually looks like banana pudding or something, or vanilla pudding. I f imagine that this would work exactly like a curling cream, but we don't know. So I will see. They, I do think that they have the same um, ingredients. Oh, this is the fun one. Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curling Gel Souffle. So this one, it looks really weird. It has flaxseed oil in it, so that's why it looks like this. Um, yeah, it's it's really weird. It is a gel souffle, so it does work like a gel. Um, I just don't like the texture of it. It just feels weird. Um, but it, I have used it for my um, twist outs before. Um, it's okay. Like, I didn't really notice that much of a difference from a gel, like just a regular one, but it does have flaxseed oil in it, which I really love that ingredient. So, keeping that. Oh, another random. Um, insect repellent. I think the sunblock and insect repellent was for a trip I had and I never went on it, so that's why they were never used. This is the one that's been leaking. Um, this is, well, this actually isn't what the bottle says. It's actually a mixture of oils that I've had for a while. Um, I'm not sure what's in it. All I know is that I got it made. My mom made it and put it in here. Um, so I'm gonna go to throw this away because there's not that much in here and it's leaking. Ah, here we go. Here is, oh. <sighs> You guys, I don't know if you can see that, but like something is all over the back end of this. Um, but anyways, this is the, whose hair is this? This is my hair. This is the coconut conditioner that I was talking about earlier. Um, can't combine it because this one has not been opened. But um, yeah, I need something to wipe this down with because this is gross. So I did just spend a few minutes cleaning some of the bottles off. I do think I found the culprit, which is um, <laughs> the Shea Moisture Detangler. I tried smelling it to see if that's what it was, but honestly, a lot of its products smell very similar, so that didn't help. But it did look like this, and this was like a little open. So yeah, I don't even know how long it's been there. That's the sad part. Uh, once again, this is a judgment-free zone, guys. Please do not judge. So anyways, moving on. Um, I have another Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Styling Lotion. This one is just good, uh, just in general. I don't think you have to apply this to wet hair. I've always liked lotions for moisturizing. Like, if you need to moisturize throughout the week, that's a good way to do that. Um, I found these little capsules, or guess, I guess you can call them, or containers, sorry. I don't know what capsules is the first thing that popped in my head. Um, this one has a little bit of gel. I think my mom gave this to me when I was traveling, probably to New Orleans. And then I found another one with whipped shea butter that I did not use. I still haven't used it. I have so much whipped shea butter and regular shea butter, and I feel like my skin is about to be popping for the next few months. 
um, another leave-in conditioner. This one still has the price tag on it. Like I said, it's okay, but um, it's not my preference. It's kind of like my last resort. Um, this is another comb that goes to the Old Reliable hair dryer. This is actually the better comb. I didn't know I had a second one of these. Wow, you find new stuff every day. Oh look, another container of shea butter. Have not used. I'm really disappointed in myself right now, you guys. But I found a. This is it's kind of bent and messed up because of all this stuff that was on top of it. This is um, one of those things that you can put on top of the drain in the shower, so it'll collect your hair, so you won't clog your drain. Um, definitely need a new one. One because it has the detangler stuff all over it, and two because it's bent up and it just looks a hot mess. So I'm gonna go and get rid of this random found a fork in here. Found an eyeliner that I already know is super old. Um, hair clip with that stuff on it, so I need to clean that. Um, I found, I'm not gonna show you guys, but I found some more of those containers that have that stuff on it. I found a sock and some more of those little scrunchies. So that's pretty much all that I found. Now it's time to clean. Okay, so this is the finished result. Um, as you can see, I do have a few duplicates of some things um, like back here I actually have about three more of these but I put them in my bathroom um, the suave conditioners those leave-in conditioners and the curling creams and stuff um, actually these two and these two are different but they act the same but anyways and then you can see my stash of shea butter um, but yeah this isn't even all of it I do have some stuff in my bathroom that's just kind of like my um, my main supply I guess you would say so I do have a lot of these in my bathroom I have the shampoo um, I do have I think one thing of curling cream and yeah and some oils in the bathroom as well so this isn't my entire stash but this is most of it and I am just really loving how organized this is right now so <laughs> um, yeah obviously there's a lot of Shea Moisture products I can't focus in right now sorry guys but um, I pretty much just use anything that doesn't have salt face and parabens and it's for natural hair. So. so with that being said you guys, that is my video. That was my cleaning out or organizing routine even though you guys didn't see me do the cleaning. But um, those little scrunchies that I was showing earlier, I actually have those soaking in, the, um, in a tub right now with some shampoo and I'm going to be cleaning my brushes, like my blow drying brushes and cleaning off my blow dryers and stuff. So yeah, I do have a little bit more to do but I feel really good about this what I have done. Um, I did combine a lot of products into one bottle so that is not so much but I really hope that this encourages you guys to kind of get a handle on your natural hair products especially if you're new to it and you just bought like everything that you could. So yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope that this video like I said encourages you and I will see you next time.